Just a reminder that all proceeds from our YouTube channel are donated to charity. Please help us help others by giving us a thumbs up or subscribing to our channel. Your support makes a difference. Hey everyone, welcome back to Luxury Travel Doc's YouTube channel. Today we've got something really special for you. We've got a glimpse into our stay at the iconic U.S. Grant Hotel in downtown San now, Diego. Now we were in San Diego for a charity event and before we dive into the details, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the ring notification so you won't miss any of our upcoming now, travel adventures. Now you might be wondering why we chose the U.S. Grant Hotel. Besides its stunning architecture and luxurious ambiance, this historic gem is the perfect location for special occasions like we were going to, or an escape to the gas lamp quarter, gearing up for a cruise, or just wanting to sightsee in general. We've been in San Diego before for conventions and sporting events, and this hotel is also a great location for events like that. With major venues nearby, you can enjoy a game, soak in the convention experience and retreat to the comfort of this historic gem. Of course, if you watch our channel, you know that we love to cruise. And since this hotel is less than a mile away from San Diego's cruise port terminal, this is the perfect location for a pre or post cruise stay. Now let's talk about the hotel itself. From the moment you step into the lobby, you're transported back in time, surrounded by the elegance and charm of a bygone era. The rooms are exquisite, the service is impeccable, and then just imagine that when this hotel was built in the early 20th century, you could see Mexico from its front door. The hotel is undergoing an over $100 million renovation. Some may find this renovation to be a little interruptive of the peace and quiet of their stay, but in general, we did not find it to be a problem at all. And honestly, we can't wait to see it when it's done. We stayed in room 735, which has two queen beds. We really love the color choices of this room. We thought the room was very bright and very fresh. The beds were very comfortable, with pillow top mattresses as well as goose down pillows. You can see from some of the images of the windows here that the windows were actually blacked out in some areas because of the actual renovation that was being done outside. This was to protect our privacy. There is a desk near the window, a large dresser across from the beds, a chair and a full length mirror near the door, there were more than enough outlets for charging with either USB or regular 110 US plugs. There were outlets near the bed, at the desk, at the dresser, and in the bathroom. The moldings were beautiful, reflecting the historic nature of this hotel, but we love the contrast of these moldings with the contemporary images that were located behind the beds and in the bathroom. The bathroom itself was large and warmly decorated. We found the storage space at the sink, below the sink, and above the sink to be more than adequate. Towels and linens were provided by Fret. The shower was very large with glass doors. Toiletries were by Byrido, which we have seen at other luxury collection hotels. Our view was of the courtyard of the hotel, which is currently undergoing renovation, and other views would reflect either the coast of San Diego or the gas lamp quarter. In the foyer of your room, you'll find your closet as well as a large cabinet. In the cabinet, you'll find additional storage, Aquafina water bottles, which are replenished throughout the day, a Keurig coffee maker, and you're safe.
There is also a small refrigerator that you can store leftovers or keep your drinks cool if you want. The safe was large enough for wallets, travel documents, iPads, and a full-size laptop. Inside the closet, you'll find additional shelving, luggage racks, hangers, ironing board, iron, slippers, and another robe. We love it when we're at a hotel where you can signal to housekeeping whether you want privacy or you'd like your room made up. Turndown service is provided nightly with your slippers being laid out, fabric by the bed, chocolate mints on your pillow, as well as ice provided for the room. One novel feature about the U.S. Grand Hotel is that the lobby itself gets a turndown service, and we've never seen this before. The concierge will put out candles and turn down the lights to make a more inviting and relaxing atmosphere for you. This hotel has seen a lot of history over the years since it was built by the son of President Ulysses S. Grant. Its doors originally opened in 1910. The Grant Grill is the restaurant and lounge that is on site. We found this to be a great place for a nightcap or to listen to some music or grab a wonderful meal. This was a power lunch spot for downtown businessmen, lawyers, and politicians for many years. It's very interesting that in 1969, a group of local female attorneys organized a sit-in which resulted in the restaurant abandoning its men's only policy. And there is a plaque outside the restaurant commemorating this. And if you don't want a large buffet breakfast like you might find at the Grant Grill, there is coffee service available in the lobby every morning. Everywhere we looked, there was history in this hotel, including on the second floor where the gallery of presidents who have stayed at the U.S. Grant, as well as first ladies who have stayed there, is located. Of course, you know that we love to go to the gym when we visit a hotel, and the gym at the U.S. Grant was awesome. It definitely wasn't one of the largest gyms that we've been in at a hotel, but it was stocked very well with water, towels, aerobic equipment, and weights. Because of the historic nature of this hotel, there is no pool on site. So whether you're a history buff, a luxury seeker, or just someone looking for a fantastic stay in the heart of San Diego, the U.S. Grant Hotel should be at the top of your list. Always remember to make meaningful and healthy travel happen. And please don't forget to interact with our video or our channel as we give all proceeds to charity and your support makes a difference. We'll see you next time.